Hi guys, it's Anne and welcome back to my channel. So March passed by really slowly. Well, for me, looking back, I think it went by very slowly for me because a lot happened and I tried a lot of products and bought different stuff and I liked some of them and I thought I'd share with you some of my favorites from the products that I tried and I really liked and what worked best for me. So if you want to know my March favorites, then just keep on watching. So this video is another bare-faced video, <laughs> so please bear with me and my buns aren't even, so just please bear with me on this one. <laughs> if I do wear makeup or if I have meetings or a class, I use the Killing Covers, Covers, Covers Moisture Cushion from Some By Me and I liked it more than I expected because I just bought this because I wanted to try something new because I ran out of the cushion or the foundation that I was using so I decided to try it. It has a lot of great reviews. It has mild ingredients that's why it has a soothing formula so it soothes the skin as you apply it and it also has great coverage. The coverage is very buildable. It doesn't cake on my my face. Um, I have combination to really really oily skin so I'm very keen on what I put on my face and this one it didn't break me out. I don't break out as much and um, it feels nice on the skin even with a hot, really hot weather here in the Philippines. It's starting to get super warm now outside so even if I have this on my face I don't get as oily as some other foundations that I've used in the past. Next is another Korean product, but this one is um, a skincare. So recently, I've been trying to invest more on skincare. I've been trying to take care of my skin more because in the past, I just I just didn't really care and I paid the price for that. Um, so I tried to look for products, for natural products that would benefit my face more. And recently, I've been loving Mediheals. A zero shot the pink dressing one I tried the Mario Badescu's pink dressing as well and it worked fine for me but I found this and I decided to try it and this one's out much much more cheaper than the Mario Badescu one because let's be honest it's it's really pricey for such a small bottle so what you do it has two parts on the dressing the one at the top is like a transparent one and then the one at the bottom is the pink dressing sometimes I use the pink one even during the day if I know that I'm not go going out but you're supposed to use the clear one during the day and then the pink layer during the night and it just dries out your pimples fast if I feel something coming up I'll immediately put this on and then the next and the following day it's it's gone but it doesn't help with the clearing of the dark mark it's just very helpful with healing um, pimples even cystic acne it works well on cystic acne as well so this one really helped me clear out my face somehow I just <laughs> knock on wood I just I, I Every time, is it just me? I mean, I know I'm not alone in this one, but whenever I, I see that my face is clearing up and whenever I acknowledge that my face is clearing up, it starts to... It's like it's hearing you now. Hey, you thought you're, you're clearing up. You thought wrong. It's like... So I don't want to jinx it or anything, but this has helped me with my um, acne problems. Another skincare and also I think they're a Korean brand. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've also been using the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus 1% Zinc. Niacinamide or vitamin B3 is supposed to reduce the appearance of um, skin blemishes and congestion on your face. So it, um, it clears out or it brightens out your face and it's supposed to help with the balance of the sebum um, production on your skin. Although if you use um, vitamin C on your skin, I do not recommend this because I've read that um, niacinamide and zinc doesn't work well with vitamin C. It will, it's gonna like fight against the effect of vitamin C. So if you use this, um, it's better not to use vitamin C. But if you use vitamin C, then it's better not to use this because it will be just a waste of money if you 
um, use both at the same time. In the past, I keep on using Western brands for um, blemishes or for pimples. But when I switched on Asian or Korean skincare brands or products, I realized that they work well on my skin because I'm Asian and Korean or Asian products are made for Asian skin like mine. So when I kept on using Western products, yes, um, they work somehow, but they didn't really help as much as these products that I'm showing you right now. This one is a serum, so it has a dropper. If you're looking for a good um, brightening and blemish helping product, then I would definitely recommend this one. So the next product is also an Asian brand, and this one is from Biore. I think they are Japanese, um, and it's their micellar or micellar cleansing water in oil the pink one the oil control it i think this has two variants i'm not sure about the other one but um i use this one so i like it because it's very effective in removing heavy makeups even waterproof mascaras it uh, <laughs> it um it does its job and i also like using this during the morning to remove the excess product that I put on my face the night before, especially if I put on a face mask and I would feel very oily. So before washing my face with water, I just put a little bit on a cotton pad and then do a one lap. Do one lap on my face and then I'm just feeling refreshed and hydrated and I really, really like it. The next product is another skincare and it is Thayer's um, Facial Toner Witch Hazel with the aloe vera formula i have the little one because i just tried it it's a very gentle toner i use it in the morning and at night the first thing that i put on my face after i wash it it just helps um restore the natural hydration of, of my face and also um it made my face dewier and um glowing because because of the natural astringent properties of rose petal and in tandem with um, witch hazels, it also it also helps to tighten the pores. As you know, I'm oily, so I have large pores, and I think it also helps with the um, um, dark spots from the blemishes that I have. So I'm definitely going to repurchase it. And if you're looking for a good toner that is cruelty free, alcohol free, I think yes, it's alcohol. -free. Mm -hmm. This one's very organic, so if you're looking for a good toner, then I'll definitely recommend this one. So that's it for the um, beauty slash makeup slash skincare. Now moving on to TV series. So I didn't watch that much new series um, last month, but I definitely liked Bandersnatch. I know I watched it too a little bit too late but I just liked the idea of it and I just couldn't imagine how much time and effort and brain that they put on that series because I have a little bit of background in um, coding and how it works behind the scenes of, um, of how computer games go and um, Bandersnatch is about a young game programmer or young game writer and he wants to adapt this book Bandersnatch into a game and the, the Bandersnatch is the kind of book where you decide your own ending and it's kind of the it's kind of the same with Bandersnatch and what I realized while watching the show is that every choice you make will definitely affect you and it can definitely affect others as well and and it's such a nice concept to a modern and hit series especially nowadays that we all need to realize that our decisions every decisions that we make will definitely have a product or something something that will come out of it and whether good or bad it's your decision and you can't really blame anyone about it if i'm making any sense i'm not i don't know and then lastly, I rewatched the Reply series, the Korean series. They're available on Netflix except 1988, I think. It has three different series Reply 1988, Reply 1997, and Reply 1998, I think, if I'm not mistaken about the numbers. They're, um, they're about a coming of age, about a group of friends who are really, really close, grew up with each other, and um, it's about how their first loves worked. How their first loves failed, how their how they got their first jobs, how they graduated high school, college, and whatnot. And it's just such a warm and nice series for me. It's also a good way if you want to learn more about the Korean culture because it's set in the 90s and 
80s in the 80s and the 90s so if you want to learn more about the Korean culture or the Korean language because I'm currently studying um, Hangul or the Korean language um, so I find it very very interesting to learn facts that you cannot really learn through K-pop or through new or modern K-drama so it's and I definitely recommend. So here are my music favorites from March. March favorites. I hope you found some of these, some of the things I said interesting or somehow useful. And um, if you have some recommendations, you know, skincare, movie, music, fashion, anything, even video recommendations, tell me in the comments below. And um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notifications if you want to be the first ones to know whenever I upload a new video. And don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it. And yes, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.